Hello everyone and welcome back to Bug Realms. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly, so if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. So we've only got a short little video for you today guys where I'm going to be talking you through a molting process. This is of a Eurocantha calcarata male, turning from large juvie size up to sub-adulthood. So without further ado, let's check that out. Okay, so here we have him, See, so he's upside down there. He's breaking through his old exoskeleton. Soon he'll have his antenna out as well. You can see the first two sets of legs have come out first. There's the antenna, popped right out there. Now he's going to hang here for a while with his abdomen still in the molt. This is just to give him time to harden up. That little green one you saw running around there was actually a phasmagigus baby that sadly didn't make it. Um, so yeah, he's going to hang here and harden up for a little while. See his legs wiggling around, and eventually his abdomen will pop out through. Now, at this time lapse actually went on for a few hours. Sometimes they can shed in a really short space of time. Sometimes it will take several hours, especially if they're wanting to fully harden before they start moving around. Now, it's important not to disturb a stick insect in its molt because it may fall and while its body's soft just like it is if you watch the tarantula videos it can actually cause harm he's going to start pushing his abdomen out now you can see his hind legs pushing pushing grabbing onto the skin and it will pop out any moment there we go the abdomen's popped out at the end now you can tell this is a male because he does not have the ovipositor at the end you can tell that he's sub-adult not fully adult because he only has the smaller spines on his hind legs he doesn't have the larger spines so, there we have it. So, I hope you enjoyed that footage, but before you go, there is a few things I'd like to add. I am working on the Bug Realms merchandising page. You won't be able to get exactly the same sort of t-shirts as I've already currently been wearing. That's because it's a completely different company. They don't have the same sort of templates, but I'm gonna try and still pump out what I can. If we find some inverts that we love as, as a group, as a whole, I'll try and pop some pictures of those on for some merch. I'll have the bog standard logo, some Fatal Fang stuff bits and bobs that we will keep adding to over time. So once that launches properly, I will do a video on that and post a link. Uh, I've also creating a Patreon page at last, something I felt awkward about for a long time, but you know what, why not? So I have actually created it, but there's some tweaks I wanna to do to it. At the moment, it's gonna be fully customizable in the way of donations. I haven't set up the reward tiers yet. That's something I may consider a little bit later on. I just want to see who would be interested in offering that extra support first. But for those of you that have asked me about it, it is underway. Now I'm unsure whether I'm going to do an actual video set on when I've launched these, these things or whether it's just going to be added on to the end of another video. So make sure you've hit that bell icon folks if you want to make sure you don't miss out on me providing that information because that will allow notifications to come up for you at home every time I've popped a video out. So thanks for watching. Hopefully we'll have something a bit more entertaining for you in the next video. Take care guys. Bye bye.